hello my beautiful loves welcome to yet another pick a card reading here on the channel um, if you're new hi my name is 80 welcome to the family if you like this video and if it resonates with you please hit the like button comment down below tell me who you are don't be afraid to share here we love sharing and communicating in the comments all right also you guys my bookings are open so check the link down below especially if this video resonates with you we can definitely go deeper now today's video is all about your haters we are going to just tap into who is hating on you who is jealous who is just hating on your energy we have three readings here to choose from we have these really cool stickers i've been getting into stickers lately you guys um, I love reading intuitively. I love looking at images and art. So these stickers, I've seen a few readers do it. Um, not a lot, but a few readers I've seen do it and I just love it. Um, and so yeah, we got three stickers today. I'm gonna sh get a close up for you guys so you guys can see exactly what these stickers look like. But these are our um, card, our reading selections, okay? For this reading to see who is hating on you. What are they hating about? about you okay we're just gonna tap into that energy just to see that you know sometimes i think you should know you know you should know especially if this energy is popping up and you don't really have a clue you know if it's popping up like certain things because i'm telling you i'm telling you evil eye will pop up right so i think this video is really good in case you guys don't know or you have a suspicion of someone in particular this video will let you know who your haters are okay so go ahead and look at these three selections just look at them where they are right now and see which one is really calling to you and then i'm going to give you guys a close up okay guys oh that incense smells so good mm, i love that okay so let's get a little bit closer to these so you guys can really see so reading number one we have this sticker right here so this one might be the one that you were drawn to okay and we're going to go deeper into these images here it'll tell us a little bit about your hater okay or your haters here's reading number two all right and reading number three Okay, so you already know, you probably already know what that's about. Okay, but here are the readings. Go ahead and take a quick look again, and then I will see you guys at your reading to go deeper into this energy. Hello, reading number one. You guys are the ones that have picked this sticker of this little alien here, and it says, I want to believe in myself. So there's two messages that are coming up here for you. I am really seeing that you believe in yourself. You are the type of person that really bets on you. You take chances. You go after your dreams. You go after your interests, your hobbies. Even if you do feel a little bit different, you feel like um, out of place or like foreign in these rooms or just in life, period, um, you still go after what you're interested in and what you feel drawn to you know um you are someone that really believes in yourself and that like bets on yourself you know even when other people don't see your vision all right so your haters really are people that um want to be like you so you would probably this these people or this person and I feel like there's a couple people for you, number one. These people copy you. So you will do something and then you would, you know, very quickly see that they are doing something similar. They might even buy the same things or do the same things that you have done. This person doesn't believe in themselves. So this is someone that, you know, really doesn't take chances on themselves. I'm getting that this is someone that is pretty close to you because they're able to see things that you do in the mirror, like your makeup, your hair, you, the way that you get dressed, and also just like your routines, the things that you do from day to day or just your interests, your hobbies, you know, your focus 
witnesses or whatever, um, this person has a really close view of you. So this could be a friend, this could be a family member, a co-worker, someone that you see on the daily or on the regular, okay? Um, and this is someone that doesn't really believe in themselves. And you would know this. I feel like I'm saying that because this is something that you would know. They might start certain things and then drop it. They don't put in enough effort. This is also someone that has a woe me kind of mentality. They might, you know, they have a lot of things to work through. So they kind of look at the world like this could be someone that says, oh, you have it so easy because, you know, um, you're this way or you're that way or this happened to you. And that might not even be necessarily true that it was easy for you. I, I, you know, I don't think you even look at life that way. Number one, I feel that, you know, um, it hasn't been easy for you, but it's not easy believing in yourself, especially when you, um, I'm cold. I got to turn on my heater, guys. Sorry. I got to put this heater on because I'm cold. Um, I just hate background sounds. You know what I mean? So, um, but this person, I feel like they think that you have it easy and it, that's not necessarily true. Okay, so let's get into some more cards to see exactly who your hater is or haters. I feel like it's there's a few people, but there's one in particular that is pretty close. Okay, they're pretty close to you. All right, let's see. Will of Fortune. Okay, so this hater, who your hater is, is somebody that when you, um, I'm trying to see, what is the best way to put this without these all these lights that I got going on? Okay, I think this is just going to be, okay, there you go. So your hater is somebody that, um, there's two things that's popping up with this Wheel of Fortune for you, number one. Your hater in particular is somebody that when things are really going well in your life, they tend to, um, it's not like long until they start feeling kind of woe me. Um, they might even act different towards you when something good happens in your life, when the will, when you're on top of the will, right? And then another indicator is that when um, things are not doing so well, because everybody has the will of fortune. We all have these different phases that we go in our life. It's not always good and shining rainbows and smooth. You know, that's just what life is. You have to deal with the lows too. So when your life hits the low, this person seemed to be a little bit upbeat. They seem to be a little bit like more happier, wanting to be around you more, okay? So there could be this indication that... Um, could be this indication that it's like they're happy when you're not happy. And when you're happy, they're happy. There's also this indication that I'm feeling like you're a hater. They like to have certain control over your life. So um, I feel that an indicator here is that this person feels like they want to control certain things that are going on. So they might say certain things about your love life, the things that you're doing to see if you will take their advice. Um, and so it makes me feel like, I don't know what intention they have by doing this. I don't know if it's like, I don't feel like it's they. I think maybe sometimes they want to help. Um, there is some kind of level of care here with the hater, but this person is a hater. Okay, so, you know, they're a hater, so you can't really trust their intentions or their advice. So they might be like, oh, you shouldn't date that person because this person is like that, this person is like this, and, you know, it won't work out. But in reality, they're just hating on you because the person is fine. Like, they're, like, fine as fuck, you know, and they see something that they want, even if that's just, like, the bond that you have with that person. And it has nothing to do with their looks. It might be something about who they are, what they do. You know what I mean? And so they're telling you certain things. Or like, oh, I don't think you should do that. I don't know. Or they'll be really surprised when you take these chances on self. And they're just like, oh, do you think that's the best idea? They like to have control over you. But with this Ten of Swords, your hater, this is someone that has betrayed you. They have betrayed you. You've ha you went through a couple stabbings with this person. And you know what's really evil about this this um, this Ten of Swords that I'm feeling, this person kind of wears it as a badge. And maybe it's not something that, um, you know, this person might even say little things to kind of remind you. 
or it's like they don't take accountability um, for the things that they have done to you, like these things. And but behind the scenes, or even with other people, they're like just like they're talking about it. They're talking about what happened, and like it's just like I don't know. And it's like the way they talk about it. It's not like they're saying, oh. They like to talk about the things that they have done or things that have happened between the both of you that really they are at fault at. And then, but they're not saying that they're at fault for it. But inside they know that they are and they're gloating about it. But on the outside when they're talking about it either to you or to other people, it's like they're just almost like a gossiping thing. But they don't put themselves in the spotlight it's some weird energy, you know, but I feel like this person is very aware, but they don't take accountability, um, to you or to anyone but themselves alone. Okay. So, um, I feel like you would know who I'm talking about because you might, they might be very defensive to you if you bring up something that has happened in the past, something that they have done. Okay. Um, and I kind of think like, when you think about approaching this person, you might be a little bit scared to approach them and to talk to them. Maybe because of their, their, you know, their demeanor, their, their attitude, their character. You know, they kind of, cause I'm seeing this dragon off in the background and it's making, I'm hearing, hearing boss level. So, um, this could have been someone that you kind of like, it's ended between you and them. Um, and I'm picking up on like past energy of how it was with you. Um, in the past, but yeah, this was like a boss level. You didn't really want to end things because I don't know, something about this person kind of freaks you out. Okay. And then we have the page of curses here. So, um, let me look at this. Hold up, 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 hold up. Page of curses. This is the page of cups. Um, Ooh. Okay. So what I'm getting about this, um, okay. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. I feel like this person likes to freak you out. This is an extra card because it was like clarifying what I was feeling with the emperor. So we have the emperor here also. This emperor is really you. You're really on top of your game. You know how to control. You know how to maneuver life. You know how you know how to make um, choices and decisions for yourself. You know how to use discernment. You know what I mean? Maybe in the past you had to learn to become the emperor, right? And I don't think you fully see how much you are an emperor or you have now since this has ended or something has happened. But your biggest hater, I think a lot of your haters have a lot of this same type of energy, but I'm picking up on one in particular. I think you have a few haters, you know? Let me know if you guys like this video and I will do more videos on your haters and like, you know, we could pick up on more energy on them. But I think you have a few, but there's this one in particular, and they all have the same type of kind of energy, you know, they're jealous because you believe in yourself, you know, and you take chances, you know, and I think that's the main reason why people hate on you. But this person likes to make you second guess yourself. They like to put put seeds in your head about what you think your future will be about or like what how, what will happen in your future. You know, they might to like to take things that have happened in the past and plant so you can see the future or see the present through the lens of the past. So they might say like, oh, you know, men are always like this, da, 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 da. And you're past that. You're past that kind of mentality because you've healed from your past pains, from romantic interests. But then they kind of like whenever they talk to you, they kind of talk about love in a negative way. You know, and it's usually at a time where you are happy or they might say things about your partner to make you kind of second guess them or they might say like, you know, they just like to see you frazzled. I think they like to like, they like to control you. So they like to emotionally manipulate very smallly. It's very subtle. You know what I mean? Because this is a page, uh, this is a page of water. And so it's very subtle. It's not huge. But there's like, they know how to plant these seeds to make them grow. They know that if they plant it, there's something about your insecurity. There's something about, you know, past uh, mentality, you know, something that you could have very overcome, but you can slip back into, you know what I mean? Because you're an emperor now, you're taking heads, you know, 
but they know what to say to trigger you and they know that you will do the rest. You will go on an emotional roller coaster and take yourself all the way to the king of cups. So they might just say little things and then you're second guessing what you're doing. You're second guessing your person. You're second guessing, you're, you're, you know, emotionally triggered. So you're not focusing on other things that you need to focus on. So, you know, this is an indicator that when this person, when you're interacting with them, things get a little bit chaotic. And when you're not interacting with them, you feel powerful. You feel in control. You know that you're making all the right decisions. This is someone that you might have felt like, ah, I don't need to tell them my business. You know, these are, you're picking up, you have picked up on cues of this person for some time. But number one, that is who your haters are. That is who that person is. I want to know who this person is because it felt very close. It felt like a, like either a friend, a family member, or even like, you know, that best, the, the co-worker bestie that you see every day and you talk to. That's what it felt like to me. But let me know down below who this person is. Um, are they out of your life? Are you making decisions to finally cut this hater out of your life? Because it feels like it could go both ways with you guys. That some of you guys, this person isn't still in your life. Um, um, or you know, and some of you guys, this you've already cut off this person. But let me know down below. And remember, I am booking readings. Check the Etsy out. The um, the link is down below. If you want to book a reading with me, we can go deeper into this energy, especially the people that are still trying to navigate through this relationship. Because if this is a family member, you know, there's certain ways that you can deal with vendors. You might not be able to completely cut this person off, but if you want to go deeper, let's go deeper. Hit the link down below in the description box and hit your girl up. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. All right, number two. You guys are the ones that picked this sticker with little ghosts holding a little glass of alcohol. And it says, I'm just here for the booze, right? So I feel like your hater has the tendency to, like, ghost. Like, you might see this person, they might be in your life for some time, and then they're out, gone, and they're, like, gone, right? Um, and you don't see them, you might not know why, you know? Um, this hater, you've kind of maybe even partied with them. You might have even, like, you know, shared drinks, went out, had some fun times with them. I think... This hater, um, I want to say, I think out of all the piles, this hater is not so much a hater. I think this person has a hard time getting close, but they do, they might have some jealousy tendencies. They might have jealousy tendencies. Um, I would definitely say that this person is hating. Um, they're hating on you because I feel like there's something that you that they that you have right that they want to learn or obtain themselves and they struggle with like like um jealousy in that way like if somebody has something and these are more like material things i don't feel like these are things like outside of you so it could be a relationship because i do feel like some of you guys because like i'm here for the booze this person might be like wanting to your boo they might be not necessarily wanting your boo but they want someone that's like you your significant other or it could be just people that you have surrounded like your friends you know they really like you um they i feel like they like who you are like your personality it's not like they want to be your personality like number one felt like their their hater was like they were really envious, wanting to be. They copied and stuff. This person does not copy you, but they want what you have. Like, so if you have, like, say that you, the job, they wonder, like, how did you get to that place where you are able to do what you're doing? Um, how did you, you know, like, they feel like you have secrets. So they're here. They're around you to really know how you do certain things. I think if you had the opportunity to really get to know each other, um, so I feel like this person is like, you, this person goes in and out of like MIA. They go MIA to the point where you're not able to really get to know them on a level that could be actually healthy, you know? Um, so I feel like this person comes around because they're just like, you're, they're intrigued by you, but they do hate on you because it's like, they're not able to obtain, they think that they can't get to where you are. I'm, I'm really getting like, you know how like, 
you it's like you can do this you can do it you know this person might even like i'm not gonna say do it better than you but can be on the same level like you see this person i feel like this person you've seen them and they have inspired you in ways you know the only difference is that i feel like this person feels like they can't do what you do you know when they go deeper they start to realize like oh i can't do that because this is how i am or this is how it will be for me you know so i feel like this person that's like a little bit of information i feel like it's something they're just here they're around you to really see how to get to a place that you're at you know, but I think you've had some really fun moments with this person. You know, you've had some really fun moments with this person. But, I don't know. There's something, you know, this person doesn't really allow people to get close to them. And then, like, once they start, you know, getting emotionally triggered, they might just bounce out. Okay, so let's see who is your hater, number two. Let's get some tarot on the, on the table. Seven of curses. Okay. Hmm. 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 I'm getting like just the imagery is making me feel like this person has the tendency to kind of feel like they're playing games. Like, you know, um, they might, I don't know. There's a little bit of vindictive energy. It's a weird energy. I feel like this person has some healing to do. And I feel like if they would do the healing, um, they would actually be a good person in your life. You know, you guys would really, um, you guys could share a lot of common ground with this person. But this person is kind of like, they feel like everyone is out to get them. They feel very, um, like they have to play games. They have to create illusions. They can't show who they really are. But I feel like um, this person might have shown certain things. Like when they show, when they realize that they're showing too much of who they really are, that side of them that they don't like, about themselves they ghost but during the middle part of whatever's got happening with you and this person they're kind of playing a game with you they might be playing head games they might you know be watching you i feel like they're watching your every move you know what i mean and this is like moves like so they can learn from you they they're kind of studying you in the way but they like to cast a um like a fog of um like, it's something that hides their true intentions, you know? They like to hide their true intentions and make it seem like they like you can learn from them, which you could very much learn from them. I think you actually think that. I think you go through life not really knowing, like, like I don't think you even know that this person is kind of in competition with you in a way. But it's in, not in a way to be better than you. It's just like they want to get on your level. They want to know how you do certain things, right? Um, and so they play these games. They, it might This might even come to a surprise or like this is like confirmating like, yes, I kind of felt that energy that, you know, it's like a game. They want to, they don't want to show that they're like in their head they feel like they are inferior to you so they hide a lot they hide their true intentions they hide what the, you know they're studying you know they might even get kind of like because i was getting like this person might be one way with you and then the next time you like they might say something do something that makes you feel a like, question question them question their intentions but this is really like a defense mechanism so it could be like really like confusing energy with this person like you felt confused you know so let's get some more cards what's going on okay we got two here we have the eight of cups okay yes this person hmm okay so what i feel like you're hate this hater here um of yours and i'm really getting particular that this you really have one hater and this is the hater this is the hater this is like because with number one, I felt like there was a couple people that could be hating on them. But with you, it's like, it's really just zoning in on one person. I feel like this person poured a lot of emotional energy. We see it with the Seven of Cups here. It's like they're playing this game, but they really don't know what they're going to get out of it. I feel like this person has a lot of emotional issues, most emotional trusting. They don't know how to trust 
what people are giving towards them. I feel like this person has poured a lot of energy. You felt like you could have poured a lot of energy into the connection. And then, of course, the Eight of Cups is about walking away. So this person has the tendency to walk away. You know, they actually like to be at a distance from you and from just a lot of people so that they can sit and watch and maybe study from afar. Right. But I feel like with this person, this is someone that you felt like you were developing something with, like that you could see having a relationship with them, you know, um, but it was you're unable to like even get close because there's this fog, there's this confusion, there's this like, am I reading this person correctly? And then, of course, they ghost, they walk away. So this was really hard for them to do because they honestly really like who you are as a person. But it's like you're, the things that you're doing in your life, they want to also do. And they can't find a way to do it, whether that is physically, financially, or mentally. They can't even just get their mind in that space. You know what I mean? Or energetically. It's like... And so I feel like that's why they're hating on you. I think this could be something if this person worked on themselves and you guys came back, you guys could definitely like see what this is really about because I feel like you guys both felt like this was hard to walk away from. I feel it on your end. I feel it on the, their end that, you know, they didn't want to walk away, but they felt triggered. They felt very emotionally triggered. We have the Queen of Cups. So this definitely could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer energy here. Um, it could be very heavily. Water energy is very heavy. We have all cups here on the table. This is somebody, though, that you felt like it's really interesting. That's why I, I get that feeling that you would be surprised that this person is jealous or they feel like you are in like superior to them because with this queen of cups it makes me feel like you really felt like this was like a big sister a big brother a like a mother kind of figure someone that you kind of look towards you know for emotional support um you know this is somebody that you felt like you could learn from you know, and have also just somebody in your corner is really what I'm feeling. Um, I also feel like this person, when they walked away, they could have said things that really emotionally hurt you. Um, and this was their plan. This was the final, like, finish her, hit, hit her down, get her down so that this would end. It's not like they really wanted it to end completely, but... Yeah, I also feel like this person is really jealous of your body. So there's something about your body that they feel like they can't obtain with their own body. It might be genetically. It could be um, It could be something that is going to be hard to work towards. And so they don't have it mentally. They don't have it like emotionally, like I know as a thicker girl wanting to lose weight, you have to be in the right mindset. I'm not going to say that it's impossible. I don't think any weight is impossible to, you know, um, lose, but you definitely have to be in the right mindset. You got to do, sometimes you got to do shadow work to even get into the mindset to eat healthier, to start working out, taking care of yourself, getting better sleep. But I feel like there's something about your body that they feel like they can't obtain. Maybe it is genetically. Maybe they want to be thicker, but they just don't have it. And in order to have what they what you have, they would have to maybe surgically do it or even maybe even eat really unhealthy to obtain weight on their body. I've, I've known people that um, that was like that. They was really skinny and um, had to do other means to get the body, get their body to look a certain way just because, you know, now bigger and curvier bodies and are more glorified now right but there's something about your body it could be skinny I mean I've felt that way before like oh, how can I lose this weight like I said it is a mentality they could definitely have what you have um whether that is something to do with your body something physical um or like something that you're doing something that you're achieving but this person feels like they are not they feel like a fraud. I don't know. But I feel like you would feel very like... I think when you realize that this person was a hater, some of you guys have realized that this person was hating on you. When you look back on the situation, they were jealous of something. And you're just like, what? Like, I didn't even see that because you don't see yourself as someone to be jealous of. Especially this person. 
So this hater is definitely can be on your level, but they just have stuff they got to work out probably emotionally. Honestly, that's what I'm seeing here. All right, number two. So that is your hater. That is what's going on here. Let me know if you guys like these types of videos about your haters. We can definitely go deeper into the hater ass energy. Um, and you know, I'm booking readings. So if you want to go deeper into this situation, it honestly feels like um, this was a lesson for you for something that is coming in the future, possibly um, some type of an event. I'm picking up on energy, but like. If you want to go deeper into this, hit the link down below. I am booking readings this month. Um, check out the Etsy. It's linked down below with all the other links and offerings that I offer um, to you guys here on the interwebs. But that's your reading. Let me know down below what's going on with you and this person. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. All right. Reading number three. This is the sticker that you guys picked this is time is money mm-hmm yep so you already know what this is about I told you in the intro like you already know what this is about number three okay your hater is obviously hating on you um because of your money you out there making that money and you actually have a lot of people this is the one that we're gonna tap into a few spirit I don't want it to be long okay listen the time that you spend on yourself has a lot to do with your bag. You focus out here in these streets, okay? You making that money. And the the people are very jealous. In particular, there is about four people. I was going, four people, number three. Four people are, there are some family members, there's some friends, okay? Um, Yeah. So friends and family, there's, these are people that are kind of close or maybe they're not so close, but there's about, there's a few people out here, um, that are jealous of you. There's, could be an acquaintance. I want to say that some of you guys, this, there's an acquaintance, like someone that you're not really truly close to, but you know, the way that you use your time is efficient. You really do believe like time is money. Okay. That's your mindset right now. It might not be just your whole, like, that's like a part of like who you are. I'm not going to say that. But I do feel like right now your mindset is like, hey, I am, you are good with time management. You are very good with uh, managing your time and prioritizing the time that you have in order to make your money. So this could be like you're an entrepreneur, you have a side hustle, or you're putting in hours, or you could even be going to school because you know when you get that degree, money's going to be popping. So this is something about like you're really thinking about building wealth. You could have a lot of money coming in right now, like, and you're spending it and you're, you know, you're enjoying yourself. And so... You spend time making money, but you also spend time spending money, I'm also feeling. And that is the key factor to why these people are jealous of you, okay? And I also feel like they want your time or they want you to... There's some of you, some of these people, um, they feel like you've switched up, you've changed. It's all about money now. You know what I mean? What about the times that we used to hang out and do this and do that? And it's not about that anymore. And I'm going to tell you this, you guys, don't let nobody take you out of that mindset, especially if you have a plan and you know that it's going to take discipline. But I'm feeling like an energy of like, hey, we don't go out anymore. We don't do this. We don't do that because you're just always working. You're always making money. You're always like focusing on. And it's like, let me tell you, OK, that could be, you know, maybe you know, everybody has phases. And I feel like sometimes people get into a phase where you have to prioritize a goal that requires reaching a certain pinnacle. Right. And so I feel like I feel that for you. And this these people could be making you feel um, they could be making you feel like guilty. OK, guilty for your your focuses right now at the time at this time. And I also feel like you're saying like, you know, things change. If I want change, I got to change, you know, and it can't always be about doing this. And sometimes I'll tell you this when you're working on your goals, when you're trying to reach a goal. And you got to live up to the necessities of life. Like, you got to be disciplined and dedicated. You're, go you're going to sacrifice time doing other things. Because, and it's like, I feel like your priority right now is a certain type of goal that requires making money. And so, 
that's what you're focusing on right now you know that's what you're focusing on right now so we're gonna go let's get some tarot on the on the table here who are these haters for number three let's see who these haters are okay so <clears throat> these could be very immature people okay the, the the big indicator here for you number um three is that you feel like these people don't really think before they do certain things because there's this this is giving me irresponsible you know so these people you know they might have all these big dreams and they talk about the things that they want to do when it but when it comes to doing it they don't do it they don't stay on that that track they are immature when it maybe even when it comes to money when it comes to sticking to a goal sticking to um you know something that you're trying to achieve um i also feel like these people could be younger than you or they could just have this younger mentality you know this is also somebody that just wants to like tag along you know tag along but not really like you know i'm not gonna say they're not doing nothing but it's like it almost feels like you guys are like you guys have different you guys are going down different paths you know and I don't, I don't know if this person or these people have really found their path yet right but I do feel like this person in a sense feels like they are a good friend you know um, some of these people some of these people that hate on you from time to time they are like I'm gonna say and who could say like maybe it's just innocent maybe they're just not there mentally you know um yet like they don't have that mentality yet right and so when they see someone taking risk and like going and you know after they're going on an adventure that clearly is just for them you know and they're not taking those steps they're not taking those risks in their life they can tend to be a little bit jealous right but um, they might not be doing certain things that are like malicious, right? That's what I'm feeling. It's like a mild jealousy with some of these people that I'm feeling. But they would be immature. You feel like they're immature. They might even expect you to be doing things that like right now I'm, I'm in my adult era. I'm on my like grown shit era. I'm not trying to go out and party or like waste time that really is like about wasting time right so we have the nine of swords here hold up hmm. so these haters okay um oh, okay i feel like for some of these people have really put you in um a state where you were feeling really low i feel like when these people might even when they when they um attack you because these swords coming out this head you know it makes me feel like you might have even felt attacked by some of these people and during these attacks they really put you in an irrational state of thinking about yourself and about life it's very low vibrational you could be leaving le um losing sleep depression anxiety over these people you know what i mean and i feel like this is a huge indicator there's some kind of attack there's some type of like oh all you care about is yourself all you care about is money all you care about you know you don't even want to take me along you don't even like we don't even do things anymore right it's like attacking your character attacking who you are attacking what you're doing this is a big indicator of who these haters are they come at you they might say different things you know to make you feel bad and it's like low vibe you know they want to take you out like you know even if it's like i'm taking a chance on myself i'm going on this adventure of building wealth going on this adventure of you know building a business whatever it is they want to take you out of that energy you know what i mean and so it's like putting you in a very low vibe that's the indicator of who this person is who these people are you feel very attacked and you feel like whenever you're interacting with these people um you know especially when this energy comes up of like how you're spending your time and now you now you got money and now you brand new you're different you know let's go spend it no i'm saving it no i'm investing it no like i have a goal you know um it's always something you know it might even come off as like irrelevant to money and they just attack your character or attack 
like certain things that you're doing, you know, um, and but really it's about money. It's about that you are leveling up financially. And so they want to bring you down low. It's really, I hate that. I really do hate that for you, number three. I'm so sorry. Because I feel like you're really focused right now. And it's a good energy. That's why I felt like, you know what, there's going to be sacrifice. You're going to have to sacrifice people. And some of these haters, you might have to sacrifice them. You know, because I was really getting with this fool energy here. Like, the fool always comes with this loyal person that wants to tag along. That's his little buddy right there, right? Tagging along with him. And he actually, look, he got two little buddies. There's a bat buddy right there. So it's like... You know, like, clearly these people are trying to come along, but they hate on you because they're jealous of the money that you're making. The chances, the steps that you're taking towards your future, towards your own individual path. And sometimes you got to be like, you know, I really feel like, <laughs> this is what I'm seeing here. Like, you know, the fool takes a chance, he leaps off, right? And God is going to take him, he's going to lift him up and take him to the next path. And sometimes that path don't involve other people. So these little, that little cat demon, this little bat demon over here is going to fall into the flames. Okay? So God will take them out, you know, if you don't take them out. So um, you're going to have to sacrifice people. You might have had to sacrifice some people. Some friends, some family members, some acquaintances, you know, that just had always had something to say to put you in a bad vibe. Um, but they're jealous because you're making money and you're saving money and you're making responsible adulting kind of decisions okay and so let's get this last card spirit who are these people what the hell i don't like them four of swords Whew. okay okay so your indicator to who your um haters are are some of the people you might have had to go no contact with this person or these people and you, you, you know, I feel like with the Nine of Swords is a confusion. You, you're irrational. You're thinking it's something else, but it's really just because you're successful with your money. You make your money. You know what I mean? Or you're just making money moves. It could be like, you know, maybe the money is not coming in yet, but they know, they see it before you really believe it. They see that you got genius ideas. They see that you, you know, you got that determination and it's going to bring you to that bag. So even if the bag is not flowing right now, they see it before you even believe it can even be possible for yourself. And so this nine of swords, right? This nine of swords down here. This is about like, you're thinking it's something else. You're thinking, oh, they just think I'm a bad person. But really it's because you're making moves on yourself. That is going to elevate you financially. And with this four of swords, you, you know, all this crazy attack, just drama, keeping you up at night, you know, you might have had to go no contact with these people just because of like the attacks. They might not even be saying nothing about your money, but that's why they're jealous. That's why they're hating on you. That's why there's all this drama is because you're making money moves, right? But you might have had to just take some time away from these people. You might have had to go no contact. You might have had to pull away. There's a silence, okay, here. And you had to rest. You had to make a choice to just be quiet and no contact. So that's an indicator of who your haters are and some why they're jealous and why they're hating on you. Um, number three, let me know down below, like what is going on? Is everything clicking? You know, because I really feel like you might've been confused. You feel there's an innocence to who you are. You know, there's an innocent to you who you are too. You might not be really aware of like why people are against you why they're hating on you but you know i am p booking readings this month so if you want to go deeper into this energy here let's do so the link is down below in my description box check out the etsy where you can book with me okay and check out all the other links that i got down there in the description box but let me know what's up in the comments number three and i will see you in the next reading peace